everyone, it's me again with another One Book July update for week 3. Uh, not much really has changed. I just noticed that a couple of things started to go a lot easier. And I'm going to tell you something about my wallet that I haven't told in the setup or the past, past two updates and when I thought about it might actually be interesting. So one thing that has changed a little bit is that I added this to my uh, pen case. Um, it's an ink eraser because I don't like to see something scratched through. So this side erases and then this side uh, you can use to rewrite. But I don't actually use it that often. But uh, normally it stayed on my, my desk. But I've been going out a lot more this week and noticed uh, that I've been using my book a lot more outside. So, yeah, that's also one of the, the biggest changes. The rest is still exactly the same. I still haven't used uh, my Coletto at all. Uh, nor did I use my uh, pencil. I did sometimes use my watercolor brush and uh, my watercolors I use most of the time if I need color. Then, once again, my Fodori. I still have the same four books and uh, the zip pouch. I've noticed that I use my um, brain dump book more. Uh, we went to IKEA and so I put all the, the me measurements in there. Uh, and then this is just a brain dump from today of all the things. I shouldn't forget or some of the idea for uh, YouTube videos and it actually is nice that I always carry it with me so that really when something pops into my head I can put it uh, on the list the same with in the back I started making a birthday list so that when uh, my birthday comes around, I have everything already in one place. Then the zip uh, pouch still use um, the diary stickers. Um, then I have some memorabilia that I need to put into my journal. The chart still using quite well. I use the weekly more than I use the monthly, and I'm still going well with the um, with the diary stickers on um, my monthly page, and I really like it. It really sums up some of the things. Um, that were important to me or what my mood was like this was my sister's birthday and then afterwards on a Sunday uh, after her birthday we went to see a movie and because of that I was quite emo emotional and agitated that's why I put a, a cactus <laughs> So, and then we went to Ikea, 
which was quite fun. Just me and my mom. And then after we went to Ikea the day after, I just cleaned up everything in my room and put all the furniture together. It was also quite fun. So that that's really just reminds me what I did that day and what I enjoyed or didn't enjoy. Um, like you see, weekly charge, chart is well used. I think I need to put some more of these things on my monthly chart. But I, uh, my original idea when I got these insert was more to use them for school. So my monthly chart would mostly be uh, school tasks and things I really need to track on a larger scale while I would use the monthly uh, the weekly chart on a, a smaller scale um, so since it's a uh, summer holiday I use um, I have not that many things to do on a larger scale so monthly chart it's a little bit more empty while weekly start chart is still quite uh, good but there are still some things I need to need to add yeah this is uh, still going quite well filling everything that's important still keeping oh I forgot to fill in the meal planner but I'm still filling it in it's nice to know what I ate during the day and I've been thinking about putting, maybe putting my expenses here. Um, I'll try that out to, tomorrow because I'm going shopping. At least that's that's the plan. It can still change. But maybe put it here. And then you can make a total of the week was an idea that popped into my head not that long ago but this is still going, going up. I also added a, a little pair of scissors because I sometimes cut the diary stickers like uh, this one the clean uh, there was a, a tooth above it that I cut off also the alone there was also something underneath it that I cut off because I just needed the one word. And since I'm starting to use it a lot more outside, I do, uh, I figured that it might come in handy to have some small uh, scissors. There, I still use the same uh, diary stickers. Uh, Lister's cut the list is still going well uh, but since I've been cleaning a lot uh, I've been reorganizing since my entire room has been redecorated uh, so I'm just making lists and keeping the, the decoration for well probably the end of this week because now it's mostly clean and then you have the journal I'm not going to go through that but I'm starting to get a lot more um, more ideas uh, about, about what I should uh, journal uh, about um, if anyone else has trouble problems with journaling and uh, maybe you should go and see a uh, Romani at Romani's realm um, because she's now doing some sort of a mini series about small things you can also put in your journal besides just uh, uh, journaling and it gave me some ideas that's also why in the back I put some regular post-it notes 
um, and I'm planning on using that to keep track of my crochet because I started uh, that again and it would be nice if I just daily wrote down uh, what I did, how much rows I did, um, where I am in my pattern and then just paste it on, on like the bottom or somewhere where I have room and I keep a nice track of that. Uh, what else? Still using the uh, stickers I made. Still need to do better on my water. But apart from that, it's going very well. I'm, I'm really learning to, to use, um, to make lists and to keep, uh, do my list to really work through them and eventually uh, get everything done that, that needs to get done. So that's still the same. Um, but then I also wanted to talk a little bit about my um, wallet. I use a pocket file effects Finsbury if I'm correct. Yeah. Pocket Finsbury as my wallet. Uh, I used to have an, an, a calendar in there but because of the one book July challenge I took it out I should have taken out the expenses sheet too I haven't used it so but here I have my two most used cards in here is my um, identity card which I covered up for privacy reasons, then I have a dashboard by Mrs. Primbles, then one I made myself. Um, then I have uh, some of the uh, dividers that I made myself, the expense sheet that should be done. Some address sheets, There's nothing filled in, just left it in there. Um, I keep my receipts in a top loading envelope. Um, some note pages that I also haven't used. It's still some old things that I had to file away because that's from uh, June. And then those two I, I just left left them in because I didn't really know where to put them. And then all my cards, I still have the fly leaf in there. And then all my cards, this is all medical. Uh, these are um, cards for coffee shops, Starbucks. And then an empty one with a coin for the uh, grocery, grocery cart and then I uh, have some, usually have some more cards in there too and another um, card pocket um, with my school um, my student card for school but uh, for privacy reasons I took that out my change is in the zip pocket. I took out the, the pen or well, the pencil that was in here because now I use uh, my one book for everything and I actually like it a bit more. It's ever since I took out the calendar it's far more uh, compact so I might actually take out everything and maybe keep 
do this also for uh, next month and then at the top have some more receipts and some money so that's my wallet uh, which is if you could say the one other book um, next to my one book but that's only because it's easy for me to flip through my cards or to get to my money uh, this is all my planning and my list making and my journaling and drawing and everything so that is everything so if you like the video please click the like button um, you can also always subscribe I'm, uh, I'm I'm very grateful for everybody who, who subscribes um, and um, if anyone has any suggestions about videos that I could make next um, please put them in the, the comments below I would uh, really love to know what everybody else uh, wants to see uh, I was maybe thinking besides the last update maybe about one book uh, July um, to maybe do a what's in my bag or uh, maybe something a desk tour or room tour or something like that um, if anybody has any other suggestion or you would like one of those uh, please put it in the, the comments below and uh, thank you very much for watching